In this video, I'm going to talk about setting up, managing, and sharing a printer under Linux. Now, printing under Linux, just like printing under Windows, is not necessarily an easy thing to do. So, hopefully, we will get it done once and never have to visit back to it again. Cross our fingers. So, uh, Linux works, uh, does printing by utilizing a system called CUPS. A common Unix printing service. It may actually be system. Uh, the idea here is that there's one common idea, uh, system or service across all different types of Linux environments out there uh, that therefore works exactly the same from one distribution to another. So even though I'm starting here under Ubuntu, it should also work under Fedora, should work under CentOS, should work under Red Hat, uh, Debian, or most other Linux distributions out there. Uh, with that being said, the only time I've run into an environment that was not CUPS supported was literally in 1999 before CUPS even existed. So here's to hoping you only ever have to deal with this. So to make this work, I'll go ahead and log into my Ubuntu environment. And traditionally, if there's a physical printer attached to this print server, or even a network printer, uh, once we log into uh, the Ubuntu system, I would come up here to activities. And then in the search field here, go ahead and just type in printer. Um, there we go. So it opens up the printers dialog and I can click add a printer. If there was a physical printer, it would show up in here or I could type in the network address down here uh, for, the, uh, for the system I want to connect to. We'll ignore that one. In theory, however, there are no printers on my network and therefore I want to set one up. Now, obviously this is a virtual environment and therefore I cannot necessarily, I can't just set up a printer because it's a virtual environment. I can't set up a physical printer. Uh, however, there is a type of printer I can set up, which is called a PDF printer. I can set up on this Linux machine, a printer that when I print to it, will create a PDF file. And so that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'll start off by opening up a terminal window. If you don't have a terminal uh, here on the sidebar, just go to activities. Start typing in terminal. There's my terminal, I'll hit enter, and it opens the terminal window for me. So the printer I want to add uh, is called cups-pdf. It's a special printer for the cups system that prints to PDF files. In order to do that, I do a sudo in order for super user do, in order to activate this as a super user apt for the uh, to install the packages install and then cups dash pdf hit enter confirm my password and it goes through it says hey here's your file uh, you actually want printer driver cups pdf not just cups pdf that's fine it knows that see up at the top it says printer added as the install is done there we go. Uh, at this point, I could in fact go back and look at my printers. Printers. And I will see that I now have a CUPS PDF printer here. If I want, I can click on the gear icon, go to printing options, and then right here in the left hand side, click test page, and it will print a test page for my printer. Awesome. Not sure where that's going, so I'll open up a file explorer. Close this down. If I go to file explorer, I then see in my home directory, there is a PDF directory. <clears throat> and I look in here and there is my test page. So every time I print something to this printer, it is going to show up in this folder as a PDF file. For example, if I get back to my terminal here. For example, I can use the echo command. Uh, echo command is fairly simple. If I just type echo hello, then it simply writes out to my screen hello. What I can do is I can use this echo command and I can use the pipe 
in order to take the output of echo into another program and I will echo that or pipe that into the command LP. LP stands for line printer. Uh, basically it allows me to print from the command line. So in this case I'm going to echo the word hello into the printer. It should therefore print a piece of paper with the word hello on it. When I hit enter uh, we'll see a file shows up in my folder there. If I then double click on that folder, I'm sorry, on that file, I can see up at the top, it actually says, hello. So exciting. Yes. Uh, however, it does mean that I can print both from a command line as well as from any other application on this computer. Uh, if I look at my local computer, there we go. I've got an examples.desktop file. I can actually print this. Let's see, LP space examples.desktop. Hit enter. A new file shows up in my PDF file folder. And I can then see it's my examples.desktop file printed in a PDF file. All right, so we've easily set up a printer. Uh, it actually wasn't really that hard. Uh, we've set up the printer and we've printed to it in a couple of different ways. Again, if I really wanted to be exciting, I could open up a web browser here. Uh, go to google.com. And then just print this page all by itself. Print. Uh, yes, print. Uh, print to PDF and now if I get back to my folder I see yet another file hopefully should see another file in here uh, with my there we go Google page right there all right I know what you're thinking that's really exciting you just printed a web page and it kind of is. I, I set up a printer, I printed to it, and not only that, but it's also saving the files in a PDF folder for me. Therefore, if I have a lot of things that I need to save as PDFs, I could simply print them to that printer and they will automatically be saved as PDF files. What I want to do now is I actually want to share out this printer. I want, I want my other Linux machine to be able to print to it. And so that's what I'm going to do. Uh, the easy way to do this is to come up here to my web browser and type in localhost colon 631. Now, if you see my previous videos, uh, you know that localhost, uh, the, the term localhost right here, specifically refers to the loopback address of 127.0.0.1. That means I'm connecting to the local computer. After this, the colon 631 means the port number to connect to. So it's connecting to the local machine. By default, it would have tried to connect to port 80 for HTTP. Uh, in this case, I'm telling it connect to port 631, which just happens to be the CUPS port of 631. And so we're saying go ahead and connect to the CUPS printer. Uh, we can see we're here, right here in the CUPS administration page. What we need to do is we want to turn on sharing. And there's two different places we do that. Very first one is under administration. Uh, under administration over here on the right hand side, there's an advanced section. And we want to check share printers connected to the system. And then uh, click the button down below, change settings. Now this changes a configuration. Let me log in. Hopefully I type that properly. There we go. So that changes the configuration file. Uh, it then restarts the cups service. So because it changed the configuration file, I had to type in my username and password. Uh, that's the equivalent of running sudo and sudo uh, prompts me for my password. That's why I had to type in the username and password. It then restarted the cup service, which is why I get this unable to connect error message here because the cup service is being restarted. Hopefully I've talked long enough that if I now click try again, 
it will connect back up. Yay. Okay, so I've gone ahead and I've shared printers. Uh, unfortunately, I found this doesn't automatically share all the printers. This just enables sharing to the system. If you find somebody who knows more about cups than me, uh, they will be able to describe exactly what that means. Listen to them. Uh, I'm going off my own assumptions. Okay, so share the printers, awesome. Now we need to tell our one specific printer, yes, in fact, share this one. So for that, I will come back up to the top here and click printers. And this gives me a list of all of my printers, all one printer in my environment. And I will click PDF under the Q name. This is where things get a little confusing because I, they could have just put this in as a button, but for some reason they made it a drop down. Uh, right here where it says administration, I want to click the drop down and I want to choose modify printer. When I choose that, it takes me to the next page and says, great, here's your current connection. Cups PDF. Do you want to change this? I don't, I don't want to change it to a different port. Uh, so I'm just going to click continue. It then takes me to the modify page and right here I can change the description, I can change the, the descri uh, location description, and I can check the box that says share this printer, which is ultimately the whole reason for going through this. So I check the share this printer box, click continue. It then asks me about the print driver. I'm gonna go ahead and leave that as is and then click the final modify printer down here at the bottom. And that modifies the printer all together. At this point, the printer is set up to be shared. The cup service is set to be shared. Uh, I am ready to go to my next machine. Uh, if you are at all curious, this can all actually be configured uh, less, let's see, in the slash etc slash cup, cups d dot comp file, should be cups slash cups d dot conf. There we go. Uh, all the sharing options and everything should be defined in here. You can come through here and you can manually edit all of these and configure them however you want them to be. This is a lot of stuff that has a lot of possibility for errors and therefore I'm not going to do that. Uh, instead, that's why I'm going to use the GUI as much as possible. Printers are very, very finicky uh, and sometimes very difficult to set up. So as easy as you could possibly make it, stay with. All right, at this point, I'm gonna to go to my next machine, which it just happens to be running CentOS. And I want to map to that printer. I want from my CentOS machine to be able to print to that printer. Again, the easy way to do this, applications, system tools, maybe utilities. There we go, system tools. And then to the right, I'm go to settings. All right, under settings, I have way down here, devices. Uh, when I click on devices, I will then show me the option to choose printers. So devices, and then right there in the middle, printers. And what I wanna do is I want to click add a printer However, you can see that that is kind of grayed out and unavailable. What I need to do is I need to essentially tell it I am root and <laughs> I am root. Yes, uh, tell it I'm root and I want to be able to be allowed to add a printer. In order to do that, I come all the way up here to the unlock button and I type in my password when I click unlock. So unlock. It says, hey, you're currently logged in as administrator, the same as if you're running sudo, I need to know what your password is. So I type in my password and hit enter. And at this point, my add printer button is available. 
It goes through. It starts searching my network. Ooh, doesn't find the printer. That's not a problem. We can actually type in the IP address of the other machine, which I believe is 192.168.03. And there we go. It found my printer. Uh, if you're not sure how I got that IP address back on, P on our Ubuntu machine, uh, I can run ifconfig, uh, if for interface, config for the configuration, and I see the IP address right there, 192.168.0.3. So back to CentOS, I see my printer. I'm gonna go ahead and click that and say add. It takes a couple of moments for it to show up. It takes more than a couple of moments for it to show up. There we go. Click on the gear icon and I'm actually gonna choose use printer by default just to set that as the default printer. Yes, there we go, we got the checkbox. I can, again, do a test page, printer options, test page. At this point, it sends the test page to the other server. The other server is attached to the printer, which in this case saves it as a file. I come back to my Ubuntu machine, and if I go to my files directory, I will see a brand new test page right here. This says, hey, this one is from CentOS, as opposed to the prior one, which was from or the prior test page, which was from Ubuntu. And it's just that simple. I have now set up a printer that can be shared amongst multiple computers in my network. Uh, so that's awesome thing number one, setting up a printer. Set up and share printer. Uh, the second awesome thing that I've done is I've made this a PDF printer. Which means everything I print to this printer is saved as a PDF file and therefore is reviewable at a later date. So if I am viewing a web page or viewing a document or doing whatever other thing I might need, whether it be a legal requirement or not, I can then save it as a PDF file and have a dedicated copy that is unchanging from there on out. So there you go, setting up a printer under Linux, managing those printers, and then ultimately sharing them for other, uh, for other devices in your network.